Your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. Ever since I was young, I had a vision. A vision of becoming someone great. A dream. A dream filled with passion. We know that these are two very special individuals. Because there are only 1,500 people that make it into the National Football League out of millions and millions of football players. <laughs> but it wasn't easy trying to fulfill my dream. My dream of playing in the NFL. But when Hussein and Hamza said, because I know that God gave me that gift, I'm going to dedicate this year in observing Ramadan and making Hajj. With my childhood dream fulfilled, I came to realize one thing. We've got a bigger dream to pursue. During this time off, uh, this is our football season, and ever since we were 12, we were playing football. But this year, we took some time off to go for our holy pilgrimage uh, hodge in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. And it taught us a lot. It taught me a lot. It, it was a time of self-reflection. It made me think about the things that I am blessed to have. Assalamu alaikum, thanks for joining us, you guys. Wa alaikum assalam, thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us, why this year for Hajj, specifically? Uh, you know, we had that inner burning desire, and we can't really say that it was our choice. The choice was kind of made for us. You know, God put some things in place for us that we had to really acknowledge and say, you know what, this is, there's a higher calling, there's something greater for us. How did, um, basically just in football, how, do, how did your teams and your coaches react to the decision of leaving and going across the world to Saudi Arabia for this? Um, they, they actually took it, they took it great and because they know who we are, they know what we stand for, so they actually stood behind us and they said, you know, if this is what Hamza Hussein wants to do, I know this is the best decision for them in their life. Um, 9-11 was rough for everybody um, and that's where we kind of took it upon ourselves to re-educate ourselves and kind of reconfirm who we are so that when people come and they question us, we're able to stand up and say, no, 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 this is what a Muslim is, this is how a Muslim walks. So as far as 9-11, yes, but other than that in football, it's just all about doing your job. It, they don't care if you're pink, purple, blue, what kind of religion you are, as long as you can do your job, you can do it. What kind of questions do you guys get being with them? Uh, you would be surprised at the questions we get in the locker room. Uh, a lot of them I cannot say on this camera. Uh, but I can tell you, know, a lot of people will say, hey, what's that funny thing you wear on your head? Uh, you know, the kufi. And honestly, a lot of the people want them and they want to wear them. Right. So, you know, it's so a did you get any presents when you went for Hajj for all the Fuller football players? I, not for all of them, but a uh, select few. We brought some books back. We brought, uh, I brought a thobe and a kufi for, uh, for one of my buddies. But it's a great opportunity to give dawah in an arena that Islam is not usually. So, you know, we're just trying to take our opportunity. You know, we're thankful and grateful for this opportunity. And we're just trying to do good. That's great. Okay, let's talk football for one second. I just want to know, who's the better player, you guys? Oh, Hussein. Hamza is the best. Hussein is easily the best. He's always tape. been the best. Is this decided? <laughs> you keep pointing at each other? Hussein is a beast. Uh, he's done a lot of great things. He picked off Michael Vick, Jay Cutler twice in the same game. You know, things that make a big brother proud. So definitely, you know, root for Hussein. Follow him on Twitter at habdullah39. That would be great. Ladies and